Hey, what's going on? My name is Anant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Amazon SES SMTP and API key with SendMaze.io. If you're already in this page uh, and you don't have these credentials, do not worry because I'm going to show you step by step how do you get these credentials and connect it with SendMaze.io. All right. So first thing first you need to do is to create your Amazon SES account and there is already a step by step tutorial that I've shown on how to create a SES account from scratch on SendMaze YouTube channel. So make sure you check it out. Uh, let me just take you to that video. So the video is over here, Amazon SES. So just go to the SendMaze YouTube channel, which is this one. And let me just take you to the videos by the way if you go to our playlist there is a guide on our playlist as well on how to create a SES account from scratch but this is only for those guys who don't have an SES account if you already have it you don't have to do this so I head over to my SMTP guide and over here you can see send 50,000 emails per day with SES how to use Amazon SES in 2023 so this is the video that I've already created on how to create an Amazon SES account from scratch but over here, I'm going to show you how can you connect Amazon SES with SendMaze.io. So step by step, number one, what you need to do is get your AWS access key ID and secret key. So to get that, you head over to your AWS management console and search for IAM, which is over here right i can directly click on i am or i'm getting the top features which is users that's what i need to open so make sure you open the users now over here you can see i uh, got to my user section now i need to create a user click on create user you can name it whatever you want let's say i name it as test send mails user click on next now head over to the attach policy directly now this is where I need to attach three policies. First one is Amazon um, SES full access, which is this one. Second is SNS full access, Amazon SNS full access. And third one is IAM read only access. So these are the three policies that you need to connect with uh, AWS. So let me just review all these policies once again, Amazon SES full access, Amazon SNS full access, and IAM read only access. These are the three policies that we have just connected with this user. Click on create user and you have successfully created the user. So now I have got the user, which is this one, test send mails user. I just need to create the security credential so that we can put it over here. So head over to your security credential and click on create access key, select application running outside AWS, click on next and then click on create access key. These are your access key, access key and secret access key. Make sure you save it somewhere so like have your notepad or something where you can save these two credentials because we might need that in future. So I'm going to copy this from here and put it over here. AWS access key ID, right? The second thing I need to copy is um, my secret access key, which I'm going to copy from here and put it over here. So, so far we have copied the access key ID and secret key. Now we need to get the SMTP username, password, port, encryption method, and also the host name. To get that, let me just first duplicate this so that I don't lose these two credentials because I'm not saving it anywhere. So, okay. Uh, now I'm back to this now I'm gonna search for SES because you know you have already created a SES account so now we're gonna go to your SES account first thing is to get your host name which is this one your host name so to get your host name we need to identify your region so your region can be easily identified from the top right hand from the top right hand you can see my region my SES region is Ohio where my Amazon SES is already approved. If your Amazon SES is not approved, just make sure to watch this video on how to get your Amazon SES account approved. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, but if you see that you get a 50,000 daily sending limit, that means your Amazon SES account is already approved. And I'm gonna put my host name as Ohio. 
so how do we do it just click on click on this aws region and select the us east ohio depending on whichever region you have approved you can uh, you know select that on sendmeasure.io so first thing i've done is i've already uh, filled my aws region which automatically fills my host name now access key and secret key is also filled now i just need to get username password port and encryption method which is again very simple to get so what i'm going to do is head over to my smtp settings and create a smtp credential but over here you can see you're also getting the port and uh, so le let me just take the port first so port is 587 and let me just copy it over here the port, port is 587 and for 587 the uh, encryption method is always ssl right uh, now we just need to get the username and password so like i said to get the username and password you need you need to click on create smtp credential which i already did so i am getting something like this now i'm going to click on create user and that's how i got my smtp username and password so i'm going to copy my smtp username which is over here and I'm going to copy my SMTP password and paste it over here. That's it. And once you save it, all your verified domains is going to appear over here. So if you have Amazon ICS approved, let me show you what's going to happen. So I can, um, so you can see over here, my Amazon web service SMTP is now active. Uh, now here I can put my name. So let's say I put my name as Anand Gupta and my from ne uh, from email is going to be Anand at the rate semi.io speed limit. Okay, this one and over here, whatever domain that I've connected with my SES account is going to appear over here. So you can enable and disable everything from here. I can quickly show you that I can quickly verify this. If I go to my verified identities, these are the domains that I've connected with SES. These are the domain that are approved to send emails right so now if i go back to my aws account everything is already done i just need to click on save that's it that's how you connect your amazon SES api key with sendmes.io